Welcome to Japan, the home of Katsudon, aka pork cutlet and egg rice bowl. If you want to see a deep fried calorie dense delicacy, you've come to the right place. So I was cruising around the mean streets of downtown Tokyo. I took in the bizarre sights and sounds, everything from a buck wild Buddhist monk slamming a gong to two kawaii dogs on a billboard and then suddenly it hit me. I realized I needed some lunch in my life so I cruised on over to Omote Sando to get myself a high quality meal. Now, Omote Sando is a pretty classy neighborhood and word around the campfire is there's a restaurant called Mai Sen that serves up a life-enhancing katsudon. So I boosted on over to that display case and started checking out the plastic food situation. And wow, just wow, it's funny how the colors of the real world only really seem real when you're viewing them through a plastic display case. I mean, this Katsudon model almost looks better than the real thing. It's just that good, baby. Anyway, I sprinted inside that restaurant, sat myself down, and started taking a long, hard look at that menu. And do you actually see what I'm seeing right now? Because it seems to me that this menu is jam-packed with a whole wide array of deep-fried delicacies. I feel like I'm getting cardiovascular disease just looking at this menu and I got to admit I'm getting pretty excited to chow down at this place. Now all these food options were looking mighty tempting but I didn't want to get sidetracked. I wanted to stick to the mission at hand, a little thing called eating katsudon. So I ordered up that katsudon and while I was waiting the maestro brought me out a cup of tea and a side dish of radish. I took myself a few sips of that tea and it was tasting pretty nice, dare I say decent, but that radish on the other hand wasn't exactly my style. That radish was bathing in a whole lot of soy sauce and I thought it was a tad too salty for my liking. Nevertheless, I wasn't gonna let that radish get me down, I was filled with a boundless sense of optimism for the future. Now that katsudon was brought out nice and quick-like, so I ripped the lid off that puppy, took one look, and was a tad surprised. It looked nice, real nice, but for some reason it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I felt like this katsudon had an attitude problem of sorts. So I figured I'd take myself a sip of that miso and weigh my options regarding the katsudon. After all, these things must be done delicately. So after pondering it for a second, I started to flirt with the idea of getting involved with that katsudon, but I didn't want to rush into things. I mean, this seemed like a high-maintenance katsudon, so I think you can understand if I was a tad reluctant. I'm not the kind of man that lets just any old katsudon into my life. I want to make sure it's a good fit first. So I finally decided to take the plunge and I bit myself off a piece of that katsudon and wow, just fucking wow. That was some high quality meat right there and that eggy wig wasn't half bad neither but the whole thing didn't quite taste as sweet as I had expected. I mean hey, I love me some high quality meat, don't get me wrong, but on the other hand, the main thing I'm looking for over here is a katsudon that'll be sweet and tender on me. I want a katsudon that likes me for me, that appreciates all my peculiarities and imperfections, is that too much to ask? I mean that katsudon looked nice and it certainly tasted nice, but I couldn't help but feel that something was missing. What I'm trying to say in a roundabout way is I've had myself much better katsudons before for much cheaper. This katsudon costed me 1,600 but in the end it felt more like a trophy katsudon than a real katsudon. I felt like I was used and abused so after I had my fill I decided we'd best be breaking it off. I boosted out of that restaurant feeling like I needed a more meaningful katsudon in my life. Lucky for me, I knew just the place to go to get myself a more appreciative katsudon. So I cruised on over to Akihabara and started perusing around those main streets on the hunt for a katsudon that would bring a ray of sunshine into my life. Now some of you might think it's a tad extreme to have katsudon for both lunch and dinner, but my only regret was that I didn't have any for breakfast. 
After all, you gotta have a strong start to each day, right, sweetie buns? So I scoped out the signage situation out here, and as you can see, there's a wide variety of buck-wild bulls in this place. It was all looking oishi, if you ask me, but I came here with a mission in my mind, a master plan of sorts to get me a nice fucking katsudon. So I busted inside that place, sat myself down, and started looking at that menu, and I thought to myself, why the hell even bother? I mean, I already know what I want. I want myself that dealish looking katsudon that comes at the amazing price of 500 yen. So I ordered up that katsudon, the maestro brought it out, and oh my dogs, that's what I'm talking about. Now unlike that previous katsudon, this one right here seems like one that I can relate to on a personal level. I mean, I've only just met this katsu, but I feel like we have shared interests and a common outlook. This right here ain't a trophy katsudon, it's more of a down-home, hometown, down-to-earth katsudon. It's the kind of katsudon you'd like to bring home to your parents, let's just put it that way. So I got deep inside that katsudon ASAP, and I gotta say, that was tasting real nice. It had a simple yet elegant flavor, and it had just the right amount of sweetness that I needed in my life. What's more, that partially cooked egg chillaxing on the top not only tasted edible, but it also tasted fucking incredible. Long story short, that right there was a nice fucking low maintenance high value katsudon if you ask me. So I polished off that buck wild katsudon at record speeds and I felt a sense of inner solace if only for a fleeting moment. Anyway, I was feeling pretty satisfied after meeting that match made in heaven, so I decided to hightail it the hell out of that Katsuya. Oh, and by the way, if you like life-enhancing Japanese food, then feel fucking free to check out some of my other videos. I've got a video about Japanese food courts, and I've got a video about the baby sardine bowl, just to name a few. I've got those links in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.